Good evening. Thanks for joining us. It was an exhausting, at a times, a scary night for hundreds of BC Ferries passengers. They were stranded on the water for hours after a police incident on board a ship leaving Nanaimo. Tonight, passengers are now dealing with major service disruptions. Let's start with CTV's Alyssa Thibault live at the Chawson Ferry Terminal. Alyssa, what happened on board? Well, Mijang, that's the question even the passengers themselves were asking when they finally got in here to Tawasin Ferry Terminal about three o'clock this morning. A man was arrested on board the ship last night. RCMP say he was high on drugs and acting erratically. But in the time it took to communicate that message, well, the rumour mill had already started among passengers. Everything from a murder to somebody being thrown overboard. So let's show you how this started. Heavy police presence at the Duke Point Terminal in Nanaimo. Just after 9pm Thursday, a ferry heading to Tawasson was forced to turn around and come back. We were told there was a medical emergency and uh, we were going back to Duke Point. There was like a, like a guy, he seemed pretty out of this world or, or pretty drunk and um, yeah, started to, to harass people. RCMP say they were called for an apparent disturbance on board. We responded, we found an individual who was acting very erratic. It was apparent to the officers that he was intoxicated by drugs. And I seen the RCMP come in and they met, a, they picked up a fellow there and he was in handcuffs when he walked away. Everyone was then asked to leave the ship. We all passed a car that was taped off, just a black car taped off with police surrounding it. That car was seized and police say they started looking for a second man who was also travelling in it. They believe he got off the ship in Nanaimo and left in a taxi. After we had ascertained that he was not on the ferry, the ferry then left. But while the search took place, rumours started swirling among the passengers. I heard somebody was sick. A lot of talk that uh, maybe somebody had died um, in that vehicle. Even fueled by the heavy police presence, once the ferry finally arrived at the Tawasson Terminal around 3 in the morning, a second delayed ferry arrived around 5 a.m. Delta Police only saying they were assisting with the investigation. RCMP say claims that anyone was hurt are untrue. False information doesn't help any investigation. So Alyssa, what about that second man police were searching for? Yeah, so we got an update from Nanaimo RCMP about noon today that he was located. They said safe and sound, and they say that their investigation is now over. But the two men have now both been banned from travelling on BC ferries. And the knock-on effects of this incident are still being seen. You can see it's actually relatively quiet here for a Friday afternoon. That's because all sailings between Tawasson and Duke Point have been cancelled for this afternoon into this evening. And for Victoria, there is a one sailing wait. Mijang. All right, thank you, Alyssa.